hello friends so so far we have discussed about the basic design construction of a two variable three variable and four variable k map and uh, the number of cells that are involved in each k map and how each cell represents a particular boolean term in terms of its horizontal and vertical components so here we'll be discussing uh, what steps are involved in uh, the simplification of a boolean expression okay using k map okay what are the steps involved so the first step when you see a particular boolean expression you have to see how many number of variables are there okay number of variables after you know seeing the boolean expression determining the number of variables you have to decide what type of k map is suitable for it for example if you see we have a boolean expression involving two variables so we'll be using a two variable k map if three variables three variable four variables four variable k map like that so that is the first step second step is mapping of the boolean expression into the k map this is the second step mapping okay first step determining the type second step is mapping mapping of boolean expression into k map so basically whichever terms are present in the boolean expression be it a sop or a pos we have to assign a particular boolean value to that cell we have already uh, seen in the previous video that each cell in a k map it represents a particular boolean term depending on the number of variables it represents a particular boolean term so in the mapping whichever boolean terms are present in the expression we have to assign a particular binary value it can be 1 or 0 1 in case of sop 0 in case of pos because sop expression they always have value equals to 1 pos they always have value equals to 0 so 0 for pos 1 for sop now we are discussing about sop so you will have to assign value 1 pos will discuss okay that is what mapping is third step is after you have assigned logic value or binary value 1 to the cells corresponding to the boolean terms that are present you have to group or grouping of adjacent cells as per the rules there are some rules related to group formation we'll be discussing in a separate video so we'll be dividing mapping we'll discuss in a separate video grouping we'll discuss in a separate video and then we will solve some questions related to kmap okay so third step is grouping of adjacent cells there are some set of rules related to how grouping of cells is done we'll be discussing about that in detail third step is grouping of cells and fourth step is identifying the common variables in a group this is the fourth step common variables so after 
doing these four steps we will have the simplified boolean expression now this might look a bit lengthy you know you might feel that uh, in spite of doing all this why not use the basic boolean algebra rule you know it looks a and lengthy when I say step by step one two three four but when you practice it more and more when you get the feel of it when you're acquainted with this uh, kmap technique you will do it within a matter of a few minutes the three variable kmap just by looking at the kmap you can solve it when you practice more number of problems when you are getting started with it it may take a little bit more time five seven ten minutes ten minutes it generally takes for uh, four variable k maps when you are you know getting started with it but when you practice more and more within two or three minutes you will be even be able to solve the four variable k map simplification okay so this is the four steps that are involved in the uh, simplification of a boolean expression using k map so in this video we are going to discuss about the mapping of boolean expression into two three and four variable k map okay okay so we will uh, be mapping uh, some expressions involving two variables into a two variable k map first so we have these expressions here a bar b a b bar a bar b bar plus a b a bar b plus a b bar so here uh, by looking at the expressions you have to determine two things how many variables are there okay there are two variables only a b and what type of expression is it is it sop sum of products or pos product of sums so all these expressions are sop okay sop type expressions so these two are very important so i've already uh, made a uh, some Carnot maps here, two variable Carnot maps. So I've already uh, shown you in the video how to draw two, three and four variable Carnot maps. Okay, so mapping this expression. So in this Boolean expression, we have only one Boolean term, A bar B. In SOP, I've already told you SOP expressions stand for those with Boolean value or logic value equal to 1. So when we map SOP expressions in SOP K map, we have to mark the cell corresponding to that Boolean term as 1. A bar B. So here it means A bar, the horizontal component A bar and the vertical component B, this as one. This is what we call mapping of Boolean expression into K map. This is a SOP type K map. Boolean term is A bar B. So as per this K map, A bar, the horizontal component, B, the vertical component, this is the cell corresponding to this Boolean term a bar b mapping is done this is the first second is a b bar so a the horizontal component b bar the vertical component will mark this cell as one this is the cell corresponding to a b bar this boolean expression also has a single boolean term this is the second now third, third is A bar B bar plus A B. So plus here means or. Okay, so when I say plus it means or multiplication or dot means and. Okay, A bar B bar plus A B. Okay, so here it consists of two Boolean terms. So here two cells will be marked. A bar B bar first this is A bar and B bar horizontal component A bar vertical component B bar this is marked as 1 
then is AB horizontal component A vertical component B this cell this cell will also be marked as 1 okay SOP expression A bar B bar and AB so this is mapping done mapping of boolean expression as two boolean terms are there so two cells are marked next the fourth one a bar b plus a b bar again two boolean terms first one a bar b second one a b bar so a bar b so a bar b here will be this horizontal component a bar vertical component b this a bar b this will be marked as 1 because it is SOP and next is a b bar so a the horizontal component vertical component b bar this this is the map mapping of the fourth boolean expression okay so this is how you map the boolean expression for a two variable k map now suppose you combine all of this a bar b a b bar all of this then all the cells will be marked depending on how many number of boolean terms are there okay the corresponding cells will be marked as one or zero here as it is sop so we are marking it with one okay the corresponding cell or cells will be marked as one depending on whichever boolean terms are present okay so this is the mapping of boolean expressions for two variable k maps so now let us do it for three variable k maps